2.1k was the Yawar Medusa. Almost two and a half Five times the damage of any minutes. other hero in that match. And he just forced the action from start to finish. Well, Ember's just looking... Thing. I mean, Ember's looking from yeah. the beginning, I guess. Turn yeah. to ban. No different? Or do I mean, you just do it, the same thing? If they can build him up in the same way and they can utilize him like that, he actually gives them more options. We were talking earlier about they need a plan B, C, D, E. Does he not give them that the more oh, yeah. stronger he gets like that i mean because things will start focusing on his hero pool won't they but you look at you look at the way that they yeah, that they ran that. that they won five majors and it's you have the no-tail carry that was sort of the active skirmishing yeah, yeah. do a bunch of hero damage yep, yep. and you have the harder oh, carry geez. that takes powers uh, what did we just yeah, see? which style are we gonna see exactly oh, that's interesting. we're gonna head into the uh the draft right now uh we're on the way yeah i'm wondering also if it's like I said it before the game started too, is Jug is not having a great win right here, either. Yes. Right. Jug just lost again. Medusa is also a hero that has gotten hit hard with nerfs. Right. OG picked heroes that are buffed. Well, most part. They picked heroes that are either on the rise yeah. or just becoming heroes. stronger. Yeah. New patch I mean, heroes. And it's that's not, another thing. That's the, thing, that's the other thing that people, remaining. I think, tend to underrate. We talk a lot about the buffs and the nerfs. We don't necessarily talk about there is limited scrim, scrim time at these events. Yeah. And it's a thing playing something against that enemy team that they may just not have played against a ton of times before. Definitely. I mean, absolutely. Radiant I just, team yeah, I want to see them picking more of the, I, the meta heroes. Meta and some more of the team fight just to make it a little bit more well-rounded for themselves. Because this Medusa, when I saw that, that patch, I thought this hero was OG. Really? Yeah. You're that far down on Medusa? I was, okay. pretty, I was okay. pretty convinced just because I think these other heroes just, they just got so many buffs that you can't just, yeah. you can't just look at here and be like, yeah, she got kind of nerfed. No, she got nerfed. And the other heroes got 100% yeah, visibly buffed. She got directly nerfed, and a lot of the items that were enabling her, like Wraith Band, got nerfed. Like Ancients? There's a no, yeah, there's no, no second Ancient camp. Is disgusting for That's her. my biggest yeah. thing. There's no second Ancient. It's yeah. like... No, you, I mean, that's what... Is that in the last patch, the Medusas were crushing it by... You build all these Wraith Bands, and you just start farming those two Ancients. Yep. And, I mean, you basically cut that potential in half, at least. Because that's... In, in a lot of the ways... That was when she was mid, especially. That was her primary farming camp when she dipped back into the jungle. Yeah, she would just back up. Oh, yeah. she's yep. level 8. Oh, now she's level 11. Oh, level 14. Okay. Now there's a much, much more restricted space on the map, and they're going to get into your jungle. Especially OG. It's, it's they take tier 1s. When, so when you think OG's about it, to just, just think about it outside first the box. Phase Ember, first phase Ember yeah. fan. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is. And they did do mean things to them, so, so I'm not Chen, surprised they've been PTSD'd by Ember. Oh, I, I think uh, it's a mistake to leave Chen on the table. There's a Chen, OG. there's a Coddle. I think what their plan was here was, let's leave more out. Yeah, and yeah. then we can let's get leave more and let's one get or two here. of those. Yeah, so if, if, they take, if they take a Chen, you have the Coddle, Enchantress, whatever you want. Yeah. To... Ten seconds remaining. I think that's exactly the approach. You can see no is like... Five seconds remaining. It's actually, it's sometimes harder, isn't it, when all gets left on the table? You need more time to discuss what are you going to take. You got to think about your second yeah. pick, and then you got to think about your third, yeah. fourth bands right away. Yeah. Because you got you kind of assume if you're going to take one hero, they're going to take the opposing. Yeah. Plus. I still, still in those situations, I'm I'm a little bit more hesitant to do that when I'm the second pick, because that fourth pick count in situations like that, that fourth pick counter pick feels very powerful. That is very true. You have to look at all of the options before you take that final pick. You can right, pick your first exactly. one very quickly, but then the second one, you gotta be like, all right, the guys, let's look at every single possible thing to make sure that we don't get like them getting ruins both of our heroes. He's looking. <laughs> yeah. He looks very concentrated yeah. right now. Which one is it? You don't see there, it. Okay. Okay. It's either Coddle or Chen. Yeah, it's yeah, one right. of the two. So they'll hope that they then get the Enchantress comes back around. But... No, I don't think they want to run. Do you not together. think they want to run it both? Oh no, 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 I, no think both. I, I think they want to take. Because you know, presumably, then four would take it. Chen is the Chen is a hero for them that they feel they actually feel so confident opening Chen and a core, right? Because they can sustain aggression on that core's lane. It's Chen Monkey King, so right? early, yeah. It's Chen hundred percent Chen, Chen Monkey, Monkey King. King. They've shown Chen Troll. They've shown yeah. Chen Five Ember. Seconds. That's like, true. They they are just so they will start using that Chen recall at like the three minute marker earlier. They'll just I they'll yeah. bring three and four heroes. So to part, heroes partly lane. why then the Ember and the Troll are man. Yeah. I mean, partly because they also just got an absolute ass kicking the end of it. I think Cardo yeah. Monkey King here for forward is the best. But, okay, Cardo okay. CK is nice here. Uh, I, I, I actually think that 40% to 25% on level 1 Chaos Strike might have a big impact on the Chaos Knight because he's. Mm -hmm. I don't think he feels nearly as self sustaining in the offlane now. Yeah, we were yeah. saying earlier that maybe some of the teams that have been playing him as a. 
probably drop out. You'd probably still drop yeah, out of that. Yeah. Those that have been really Ten heavily relying on it would probably still be. It, 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 it really, when you look at what, at what NIP Five showed us in the qualifiers remaining. behind that here, it was you can take that Chaos Strike OG's level one and be to totally yeah. self-sustaining. But then now you game. let OG now you let have do it. this. And, this, and this, that's where I was concerned with the CK too, is because now Monkey King is happy with this. Yeah, yeah he loves He's it. versus Green CK. Yeah. He's all right with it. He's just going to be getting the... Uh, it's just a mistake. You know, the chance of suggest that Ford haven't... I feel like they had to. They, this was an opener from OG. They ran, yeah. they did this literally Chen Monkey King, Chen Ember, Chen Monkey King, Enchantress Monkey King, Enchantress Monkey King. I can go through the, the list no, of that's heroes. That's what I'm saying. Why haven't Ford telegraphed this? Question. They really? might just have prioritized. Ten they might just be like, you know what? We've got an idea with the CK. Let's play what we want to play. Could be. Uh, you yeah. know what, though? I, I, there's a part of me that remain. keeps nagging. And what we saw in that last game, this is one of the things that happens it's oh, after geez. games not Turn making the adjustments bad. it's between games you're not you're just not talking as much yeah. there's not there's not the dialogue there and I, I mean this chen monkey king is also insane this combo oh it's you just i mean your monkey king just has so much more damage and he's just got so much more sustained if he gets a boundless strike with his jingu with the buff from chen it's yeah you're dead. and he's gonna be full health pretty much so it is problematic if he's even in that lane so it just yeah. it, this leaves him open too the this, this monkey king they played yeah. it in three rolls. Yeah, they have. Uh, they have, and, and you look at OG, remaining. and they have so many other cores that have some flex value and that also benefit from Divine Favor that they'll run alongside the Monkey King. Now, that's mitigated here a little bit because the Troll and the Ember Spirit are banned. But I, I, OG, I mean, come on, we all watch TI. They love to play around this hero. Thank you for saying the name of it. I, that was the first time I actually couldn't remember a spell name. In a oh, very, oh, okay. very long oh, yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually really disappointed in myself for a sec. I was like, <laughs> yeah, Test mind, of faith? Mind, mind, mind blank? It's gone. Sorry, sometimes you forget, you forget a player's name. That's even more bad. That does happen. Or, yeah. or what team they're on. I've yeah. done that. Or, or, or yesterday, what team they were on. <laughs> uh, to be fair, he had trends. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this, uh, let's talk about the flexibility of that. Ten yeah, seconds across. remaining. Jerex plays play. it. Jerex is, is Jerex's most played hero in the last... Five seconds. Oh, I have they really gone with it that much? That oh, yeah. I, wow. Uh, and, and, okay. and it's also... I missed that. It's also Topson's most played hero in well, the last Well, that's not a surprise. So, that's, so that's not a more, surprise. You, you kind of go, oh yeah, that makes total sense. But, but is it his I, most I, played hero, period? Um, Topson, I believe so. It might well be, actually. I think in, it might in, be as well. In pro, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Maybe even pubs. Oh, pubs. His invoker and his invoker and I think invoker is probably his pub one. Now it's more Monkey King because he just remaining. I see him yeah. play it. Why like would you? Every... Five seconds. Uh, Does Enigma? Huh. Okay. So that's forward one. The do Enigma band, fine. Uh, Life still is still on. The... No, 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 Life still. It's okay, something forward one. I than... think that is that the pairing that OG did with the Monkey King a couple times. They did. They ran the dark. Yes, they right. have. Yeah. That hasn't looked as that. On the list of strats out of OG that scare me, that's. That's when, they ran it as a, that's when they've ran the uh, Monkey King as a support. Oh, as a support. Yes. Okay, yeah, I sorry. see. I yeah, see. that's what I meant. Yeah, so I what see. they're trying to do effectively point. by banning it is, okay, you think we know you're using is. this as a flex, but you're not. We're going to force you to use it. Yeah. Uh, and they, they, presumably the, they have a plan for it. Well, by the way, the, another reason that I was surprised that they banned the Dark Sphere is they will go Magnus again yeah. out of this set. OG will. They'll third pick Magnus after the Chen Monkey mm. King opens. But is that, is that too obvious? That's what they're thinking about. He would be talking about. Oh, They've given us the mag. Why have they given us the Why do they want us to have the mag? Again, I think you can't. I, I think you run into trouble if you try to mind game too much during drafts. I think you. you... I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get into the mind of Mad, who does mind. He does, but he's, he's, very, he's very smart about it. He's very smart about when he does it. I think you can yeah. get yourself T. a lot of trouble T. trying T. to do that. Finals. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. A couple of uh, amazing picks. I like this Rasta Five pick, although it does lock him in as your four. And yeah. it, that's the thing. We have, a lot of, we have a lot of information about what forwards lands are going to look like yes. at this point. We're not too sure yeah. about it. Yeah. Gives him more catch and disable. Gives him at least some tower pressure. That's what CK, and, like, CK lacks is Phantasm. Okay. Where are we going then? Oh, I still really like the mag here. I thought, okay, he, uh, I was gonna say Beastmaster, but Batrider, kind of very similar. Ooh, every time I see Beast, no, nah, Batrider plus Monkey King just cut the Monkey King. 
Don't yeah. firefly over <laughs> Don't your firefly, teammate. Right, right. Just please be careful. It happens at they happen at TI like so many times as well. You know, Batrider, though, your positioning. has to be, when you talk about the last couple of patches, uh, 721, he has to be on the list of heroes remaining. that got them. And most intriguing buff, too. Absolutely. Because it's like, now you can Five use more frequent fireflies, you're faster as yeah. well. It's I like, think the drums cool. build is back, right? Absolutely. He's no longer early blink reliant, which yep. is so huge. They added more damage. You have damage yeah. on your lasso too, so th solo kill potential is even higher because you stack stickies, you get your lasso. Yeah. That gets bonus damage from the stickies too. It's he a used lot to be more. this hero that you could leave alone in lane and he could actually like get you a double kill. And for the longest time, that element was just sort of gone. Oh, geez, and I kind of think it's back. It's got, it's, yeah, it's starting to seem like it. So that's the response to the Pat Rider and oh, it. Instant PL. Yeah, that's, that's. That's really disgusting. This is what I what I said about OG is so comfortable running the second sort of what we would call greedy in some situations for alongside Ooh. the Monkey King. How do they deal with PL illusions? I, if so it gets far, to the point don't. where PL gets to the items, they, they cannot deal with PL. Yeah, illusions. The way that you the way that you deal with PL illusions, shift the CK over to a safe laner and grab something Five like Five seconds remaining. It's you have to have some AOE, and you have Illuminate, and... Yeah, they're, go they're gonna need to pick something that has... Yeah, definitely. Their team fight is... Okay, the Willow Wisp is there. They've got Shadow Shaman. It's okay. OG's isn't... I mean, OG's need, is high they, with the Monkey they King. They need something that's gonna put it together. You could, you could try OD. For four, yeah. yeah. I, think the, I think OD, with the, with the splash from the orb, plays a lot better. OG's turn to ban. Talked about that. That okay. It's still it's still a bit of a. Deal. I don't like playing having OD versus Batrider. I agree. I agree. I, I I am. The thing is when you the, this is where PL just wrecks drafts. Yeah. Because you now have up. to pick a fifth pick hero that deals with him. Yeah. And yes, that hero is usually behind a good drafter. That hero is usually going to have problems Ten against parts, other parts of the draft. But that's a. You do not address PL. It's a you don't pass go, don't collect two hundred dollars. You're done. Yeah, I know some people are pricing like they have illuminate, they have ether shock. That's not you know. No, that's, those, those yeah. do not yeah. count. You know, oh, like, you can't sit there charging an illuminate for five seconds in a team fight. Ether shock, okay, but these illusions are going to get to a point where they have way more. You know, right? I mean, once he gets heart, I, yeah, okay, those, that tickles. It's like the Mjolnirs and stuff would have to be there, but even then, it's like it's got last man. Just in case. Yeah, that's funny. Just that's really in funny. case. Careful, I guess. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant. Is Ascar even cheese anymore? Ooh. Yeah, that's your other support. That's perfect. Perfect. Oh, that's really good. Versus, that's we mentioned perfect. it last game. Coddle. Yes. Coddle yes. was picked, right? Yes. And we saw Nyx ban. We're like, ooh, that's yeah. You need to ban Nyx versus Coddle. Weaver yeah. also Weaver does can not stun himself like running playing through you. Yep. Yeah, that's nasty. I mean, you can just be vendetted on a creep wave and use Pop Carapace as he's shikuching through, and then you can set up easily. So yep. ten seconds remaining. That's that's nasty. I I just don't know that there's a I don't know that there's an Five ideal pick here remaining. for forward. How's the damage on? Uh, okay. Well, guys, this is a tenth pick. This yeah. is a what can win us the game. Yeah, it it you have to pick something like like OD. Can't pick OD. Yeah, you just Def, can't. You now. cannot pick you OD against versus Nixon Bat. Not against Nixon Bat. Even against Bat, I was already like, eh, nah, nah, nah. now Nixon Bat, no way. Like a what? A YOLO void? Um, just like hope for the current. Oh no, that's yeah, like well, all right. Well, Choose that's a, your hero. That's not good it's not advice. inspiring, but it's it's. It a, gives you. I mean, they've got splash damage if yeah. he gets farmed. If he can get farmed. I, I look. I know we we talked about. We talked about this DK Monkey King. Yeah, I was wrong. MCQ, and and, <laughs> I, was and so wrong. I just, I have, I have fiended high level pubs after that yeah, major same. and watched this lane. And every time I see it, the MK just. So I, I at CQ said 50 50. And then I went back and talked to Sumail and stuff. And they were actually, they were saying like 60 40 for the Monkey King. But now it's like, I think with the mischief thing, after that got, got added, you dodge the breathe fires half the time. Yeah. So then, even though the damage mitigation used to be there, now it's not. Now the matchup is like way, <laughs> way And out of impossible. every player in Dota, who has abused the mischief thing the most? Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is OG's draft. Okay. Uh, Fogged, what kind of game are we going to get between the game two? What was that last pick again? They had Weaver and then Dragonite. Dragonite. Yeah, it's just oh, pick Dragonite into, into Monkey so, King. No pressure, but people were impressed with Tony Romo's ability to predict game that was about to be played. Right, the plays that were about to be played. So I want to know from you, the Tony Romo of Dota Two, 
how is this game going to be played out in the first 20 minutes? First 20 minutes, uh, I think Topson's going to run away with this game. The Monkey King's going to go out of control. We're going to be keeping eyes on him, mischiefing and jumping in trees. So if he map. takes that mid tier one tower before 10 minutes. Thank you very much, gents. Uh, let's head over to our uh, commentary team now. They're all ready to bring you game number two. Prepare for battle. A dark cloud hangs over forward gaming after what was a pretty rough game one and a, a rough run to their tournament so far. And we've got a very pessimistic panel going into game two. That uh, fourth pick, Phantom Lancer, that was troublesome for forward. And I'm not sure if a DK really solves the problems here. Probably not. I mean, there's like some AoE potential from your free fire and your auto attacks once you have level 2 dragon form, but I actually think that PL does fine against DK. You get on top of him, yeah. it's hard for you to use your single target stun. Thompson might just die here. This would be a nice pickup try to go for the mischief dodge of the limited blast from SG. It's gonna work here. And once again, it's no longer on Thompson. He can't win the lane. He's given up. Actually, no, he was the one that fed it. Yeah, this is on Thompson. That's entirely on Thompson. <laughs> I was, I was saying Who yesterday. Who fed first blood to the Who mid? Who fed first blood to Yawar? Why does he have 400 more gold than me? Uh, I was saying yesterday how if a support feeds first blood to the enemy mid, you no longer bear responsibility. You have no responsibility over losing your mid lane at yeah. that point. But now Thompson, he bears double. He tried to do, uh, I think he was trying to do a, the sneaky mischief in to yeah. maybe kill a courier or something like that. Forward, more like backward. Oh, wow, that was <laughs> Monkey King versus DK. We have seen this matchup uh, go more and more one-sided to Monkey King as the the matchup has been played more often. Maybe that's why MSS is here. Even with the first blood for you are MSS feels like he still needs to try and be here, keep popping some down at least initially. Once you have like three levels of armor on the DK, you're fine. You match up. But before that, yeah, the Jingu stacks are really in play again. The Breathe Fire being able to dodge that with the, the mischief. Monkey Kings have gotten really good at being able to pull that off. An immediate tip from Rezo. This is a good matchup, by the way, for Weaver, theoretically. Weaver versus Bat. This is what the Chinese used to pick yeah. uh, whenever they'd see a Bat Rider because the Beatles are really hard for the Bat Rider to play against, and more importantly, because of your infinite boost speed when you're Shikuchi, it's impossible for the bat, the bat Rider to track you and get the kill on top. Do you think OG should have tried to dodge, or is it okay? Like, you're not going to pressure the hero, but Seb can still get some farm out of I mean, of this. Seb's been fine in this lane, surprisingly. I was, I was under the impression, anyways, that this is a very good Weaver matchup. I'm sure you've heard as well. We're going to get the Shackles in mid lane. Jarex is here. What are the? It's like you pick Life Stealer or Weaver. Just flooding the field with pigs. Oh, I hate. <laughs> you don't like the pigs? <laughs> you don't like the piggy balloons? Nah, I'm a I'm a killjoy. No. I'm boring like that. The piggy balloons. The problem is. I love the piggy balloons. You want to know why? Because why? the enemy team can't. They can't not hit it mm. in pubs. They always want to hit the balloon. So I always like throw one up a cliff, you know, when I'm blind yeah. or something and, and the starting bounding runes. I'm like, I wonder if anybody's up there. I throw a pig, but it comes bouncing back to me. That's when I know <laughs> there's somebody there. <laughs> it's a scout pig. Yep. No tail chases SVG away. This is uh, a dual lane meta apparently is MSS. I thought he was just going to be hanging around for like the and first Jack's minute or here something. But the DD, he was trying to set up for the stun into Topson's boundless and maybe they go for like a dive or some shit. They're still trying to do it, but I just don't think this is going to be very successful. JX finally just throws out the stun. stun the Whoa, that Illuminate Blast. He hit no tail. EG did. doesn't release it in time. And Chaos Knight should be able to pressure the, the Phantom Lancer all right. Especially with the uh, the Keeper of Light. This is a duo that can do a lot of work, and maybe that's why no tail is 
hang around so much trying to get the divine favor over to the PL. Help him out with a little bit of and punch. They're gonna go on to MSS who is around Shackles. Low, Might be able to blow up this monkey oh, they got pretty him. fast. They got him. That was smart too. He leveled the stun at three just so that they could absolutely secure it. So there'd be no boundless shenanigans uh, into some sort of HP pool. Twice now. It's died. Oh. Now it's definitely. <laughs> I start. Now it's definitely on him. They, they are still going to have a Phantom Lancer problem overall, but the panel talked about, you said it as well, like DK, if he does get ahead, if he gets the levels and he actually gets some okay farm, he starts turning into that carry DK, his splash damage can do all right against yeah. Phantom Lancer. It's just kind of annoying because you're stunned a single target, uh, and the as soon as he gets mana, DK has mana issues to begin with. He's got such a low mana pool. It doesn't matter as bad if you have a decent uh, mana pool to begin with, but if you're at like 200 mana, that means your DKB usage just has to come out sooner than you'd like. And that's really going to be the timing for forward here is when this DK gets BKB, how many successful team fights in a row can they win? So once you get to that five second mark, the PL just kind of kites you out. You run out of mana, your team fight contribution starts to slowly nullify. And MSS hasting back the mid lane. He's not leaving Thompson alone, and I guess nor should he, because it's not like a Shadow Shaman uh, is that good against Batrider anyway, Yeah. right? It's like, the Weaver can deal with this lane just fine. Um, it is a little surprising, I agree with you. Like, every single time I've seen this matchup, I guess maybe I've never seen it in a straight 1v1, where yeah. there's been no support presence whatsoever. But Seb is up in CS over the Weaver, at least was. I, I've seen somebody win this matchup. I think it was like way back when, it was maybe Yao. Way back when, he got a solo kill. I think it might have even been on uh, somebody from Alliance or something like that. It was like at level 2 though. He just yeah. dove. I, I think he even went flame break. I'd have to go rewatch re the VOD, but that was the only time that I've seen a lineup, a matchup like that go that way is. SVG has the blast lined up. He's going to throw it out. The stun follow up from the DK, that should be enough. Last hit by MSS to clean that up. I mean, if he just completely shut down Thompson's game, he can't play that space creating that we usually see from him, then maybe the Phantom Lancer, his game is going to be stunted as well as forward. Yeah. They're looking at getting some early chip damage on this mid tier one. No level six yet on TK. But. I saw some comment uh, by somebody on Reddit that said like, they'd like to see UR play more of these like spacey heroes. Okay. Try to free up some room for uh, universe and Rezo. And I think this is kind of what they've gone back for. I think they chose the Medusa last game because they saw two melee cores and thought that it was probably the best option. But I sort of agree uh, with the fact that they need to play at a faster pace, at least for their heroes. I mean, it's it's just so natural for both their side laners to be more farm heavy. And I think it also kind of fits you are more for him to be a space creator. Yeah. I mean, this guy, even though he shares the last name, he's not just like one position kind of uh, core player, like he's gonna yeah. be. I think when oh, LTW using that Phantom Rush to be able to get some damage on SVG. Meanwhile, oh, we're watching Thompson. Thompson barely jumps into the trees and will be able to get out. I can't believe he got that into his shrine. That was super close. ILTW is not gonna turn onto Universe. He's got level six. Universe is only level three. No wonder he's hitting like a truck right now. Turn around, does get a two second stun. Looks like No-Tail got a little lucky. He managed to pick up the Harpy. Not sure how long he's had that one. It's mid tower really low, though. the Hell Bear now. DK's not even level six, and they're about to take this tower. That's not the best sign. And part of it is that Forward, I think, realized, like you said, there's no point in MSS going bottom. He's not going to kill that bat with the help of the Weaver. You're more of a detriment to that lane more yeah, often because you can get if you get sticky twice and you can't turn right off, and the Nyx is there, you're dead. Yeah. Uh, and the Weaver's not going to save you in that situation. Top lane, you're not killing this PL. You're probably not even bothering them. Like, even though SVG's up here, and they can do some shenanigans like this, ILTW, he's got a stick. Should be all right, is kind of getting clapped right now. It's pretty crazy, like, how impactful, like, the fact that he is level six, like, Chen was able to have an impact on this lane without taking any yeah, of his experience, die. but he may still die. Two seconds stunned, another blast coming in. ILTW, not gonna be able to get out. No tell, tries to give him some of that divine favor. Meanwhile, Batrider gets chased down in bottom lane as well. So now the side lanes are even crumbling a bit for OG. That's because it feels like anyways, Jerex doesn't really know 
where he's supposed to be. He's getting outmaneuvered a little bit. Dyer's like in the last game, it attack. felt like his early game also sort of struggled, but he really picked it up in the mid game. Yeah. One of these two, and that's what he's going to hope for in this game. Because right now, he starts heading towards top, but his bottom dies, and he was bottom the entire time, and now he heads towards mid, but Yoar's already taken the tower. It feels like he's just a little bit too late to every engagement. Pulling an ILT. <laughs> he's going to fan a rush straight to SVG. Kills him pretty quick. A stun from Universe a little bit late. Yuar's up here now, but his uh, Dragon Form is going to wear out soon. And that was the rotation of the Batrider, too. ILTW's death just, you know, he wanted to go for the min max, max out the Phantom Rush, no levels of the Doppelganger. Yeah. So it means that every time he got stunned by the CK, the follow up blast is going to connect, too. The, uh. Oh, Jerex, they're going to go for this mid. This should be a free kill. Oh, oh nice dodge from MSS. They may still be able to get him thanks to the stun from Thompson as well as the slow of Stick Nate Pump. But now he turns around, managing to get the shackles onto Seb. Seb's in trouble. He still has a Firefly. Might be able to get over the cliff, but he's just stunned for far too long. And forward. Continue, man. I was not sure that game one was so rough. And we looked at the drafts and see this Phantom on, so like, damn, that's gonna be a problem. I was very pessimistic for their chances here in game two, but they have a great start here. 3,000 net worth lead in nine minutes. Yeah, just more heroes that can do something. Yeah. It felt like last game, the most depressing way to lose is when everyone just farms. You just kind of, the game is over. Because then nobody feels like they really participated. That's why I think they look so dejected, because it didn't really feel like anybody got a chance to play Dota. Yeah. Whereas in this game, at least you're giving yourself shots to win. To your point about the Nyx Assassin, we were talking about, um, you know, I was panel for one of the Gambit games. And I said, you know, what really impressed me for Immersion is that I feel like Nyx Assassin is one of the harder supports to play. Yes. Not from a mechanical aspect, sure, Impale's a little hard, but more the fact that so often, you, like, you just don't know what to do in the game, especially when this laning phase. If the lanes are just a bit awkward, like, where do you go? You're not a great roamer. You're not a great lane securing support either. Top lane, we're gonna see No Tail pulled to his doom. And MSS, ooh, long range shackles. I was wondering what that was. I was like, is there another hero? No, it's just a Hellbear. They want everything that No Tail has. Take his hero and his creep. And you are already 3-0-2. It's had a much better early game. So Reddit was right. Shout out to that guy. He should be their new coach. He said, Yawar. Get out of here, AUI. It was like some weird like uh, comment. I was like, Yawar need pick, no carry. <laughs> I got you, dude. Dyer's the Blitz is like, I understand what you're saying. You're the Reddit whisperer. He knows. He, he needs him to play a space. He take towers. Free up some space for uh, Rezo to just hit some neutral creeps. Oh, look at MSS. Oh, no, that impale. Oh, he's gone. It was like half a second until he could TP up. That's that comeback kill for Thompson now. He's really got to get things rolling. He's going to go for what looks like a third Wraith ban. This is the uh, I did four early game build. But pulls him back into the bolt. Resolution has the uh, bugs on ILTW as well. Managed to get rid of those Weaver bugs and... He hasn't leveled at all. Again, still does not have the Doppelganger, so... At level 7, still doesn't have a single level of it, so it's going to be pretty effective for them. Is They're even going to die for no tail. Going to find it no problem. I mean, the bugs stay on you no matter what, right? Yeah, even so if you don't. doesn't matter. So that, that part doesn't change, but you can at least disjoint the Chaos Bolt. Yes. comes in from Chaos Knight. What happens, though, is I've seen that matchup, is that Chaos Knight just keeps on faking out on you. Dyer's top tower mm -hmm. is under just like, attack. once you actually do Doppelganger. Raid still going to be trouble. Jarek's going to find the courier. <laughs> Bottom this is what uh, Nyx is best at, just being a more team fighty version of Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Like your gank potential is a little bit worse because, you know, you can always just run in mid as a Bounty Hunter, Janata hit somebody and slow them down enough to get the kill, whereas like stun is harder to land. As we saw earlier, remember when he picked up the DD rune and he was just kind of waiting? He waited the entire time and didn't end up doing anything with it. This time around when you play Nyx, you just kind of want to flit in and out, see where you can be annoying, create space. The thing about the hero, though, is it's most successful when you have these, like, very split cores. So he wants to focus on killing this Weaver. If there's any hero that he's going to kill on the map, it's this Weaver. Because the rest of the heroes, I think, should just four-man. You have two strength, uh, tanky strength cores that can just run into towers, yep. with the DK especially that's very good at it. And that way you can protect your Coddle and your Shaman, who's got wards himself. And Weaver, I mean, he hates playing against the Nyx Assassin, because he can come out, he can actually lead with the Vendetta hit. And what are you going to do? You can't shoot Kuchi. He's yeah. just going to have Spike Carapace. You're going to actually stun stand. yourself and set yourself up for the Impale. So it's just one of those things you can't rely on your primary ability. Jarrett's is going to try and set it up here. Topson's done a very good job, by the way. 
of uh, covering. Yeah, because he's taking advantage of the fact that forward are trying to play this style together, and he's just farming out everything. Not even that far behind Dyer's anymore, considering the type of start that he had is. Look at this, Jerex. Like we said, uh, he's just kind of focusing on Rezo here as... Well, it says right behind him, they try and go for the impale hit. Jerex was hoping to catch him with the uh, Vendetta, and he's stu stuck on top of him trying to get the spike here, but he That was a cool trick, though, what he tried to do. He anticipated once Rezo saw the TP, he would try to go for the Shikuchi. Yeah, once he heard, like, Topson doing the, the jump in. Yeah. It was a decent attempt, at least. Yeah. Do you think... Uh, do you think... Reza was wise to what was happening. Oh, that's probably. The didn't like, once he sees right the TP in, he doesn't, he should know, like, there's no reason that Topson is leaving that bottom lane because yeah. we're not putting any pressure down there. So I, I think that probably tipped him off. And, and to be honest, like, he has, there are no big threats until that Blink Dagger comes up besides <laughs> the Spike Carapace setup from the descent. <laughs> so. Nice. Right now, Seb is trying to decide between Boots of Travel or Blink Dagger. You see what Rezo's doing, by the way? He went the Midas, but now he's going to go into the Maelstrom. Yeah. I hope he doesn't decide to fake back into the Lincolns in anticipation of the Batrider. Because I think in this game, you want to just play this mid-game style Weaver. Fight with the rest of your team. Midas down. That was like maybe 0 0.2 seconds. Cool down. Efficiency. Not that optimal, but you know. Take it. Radiance. Are scanning. Illusion. Not sure how I feel about that one. Wouldn't, wouldn't you just want more of the sort of mid-game stat items you usually see? Look Echo Saber. Tell he's, uh... Maelstrom. Universe is just going to run in here by coincidence, actually, looking for the Monkey King, and it's instead no tail. Poor guy. No! Topson. It's just hanging around in the trees still. They were looking for Topson. He, was, yeah. he started eating trees on his way up. No Tail is just like, well, that is a surprise. It looks like this can turn into a push on the tier two. It's There's... gonna create some timing though, as Jerex is getting levels out of this. Topson is just continuing to hang out around the area. Maybe they can set up for something. And There's pings here. Four now have the opportunity, by the way, to go for Roshan, now that they've taken this tier two. It's not the easiest until Rezo gets his first item, but you at least can do it now. Your DK can tank it up. You can even drop uh, Shaman Mords for it if you want it to go faster. Just cutting creep waves <laughs> and SVG and Universe are trying to catch him in the act here. Guess the tree, guess the tree, guess the tree, guess the tree. I'm always a fan of this. Jerex is, uh, he knows the, the courier's back up. Or maybe he's just getting ward down. But dead, it's actually on cooldown another 20 seconds. So won't be able to snipe this courier that's going to fly right over him. Do you remember when Puppy did it like four times in a row? Yeah, that was so sick. So, I love when people courier snipe. My favorite thing. He's going to run into UR. Actually, uh, he gets the stun first. MSS is coming in as well. Jerex thinks he's, oh, I could just TP up. No, nope, MSS is on the high ground. Got to be able to get the disables. Do they have dust? I don't think they have, okay. They didn't have a sentry. They don't need it. They're going to lose SVG, but... Are they, though? He's already dead. I was looking for him on the map. <laughs> I was just Wait, trying to Shadow Blade for Universe. The cool idea. This chaos thing. I mean, they need, they need more ways to get on top of this uh, PL. And if you go for Blink, I think your animation is too long on your stun, right? Same goes with the, the, the Monkey King. He's cutting creep waves all over the place, right? Yeah. I think Blink is too slow. Yeah, for sure. Like, you, if you're really good, you're going to be able to do stuff. They have two different disjoints on their course. How far is he now from his ratty? Not that far. Skittering on in. They catch this Weaver. I mean, I don't see... Okay, No-Tail's got to pull in. Who's he pulling in? Here we go. 
Tops and tops and set it up, set it up. Gonna be able to get the Vendetta hit follow up. And he'll land that one. Still has a spike here. Oh, goes nice to dodge. Ah, oh, nice dodge for Resolution. Still though, they managed to get the Zentar stun follow up as well. Wow. And they still bring down Resolution. It's not that was disaster sides. the moment he got time lapse off. But yeah, me too. Uh, bottom lane. The same time forward was hunting. ILTW is very wise to what's going on. TP and join the rest of his team at they top. Had, time to take it to power. <laughs> they had stun after stun. Stun. Just lined up for him. That was really well done by OG. Still, it is a 4,000 gold difference. As Jerex is trying to... I think he has his Midas now. No? Does this the Glove of Haste? He's actually really... Those Midas's are... They're gonna have, uh... An early BKB. I'm sensing a pattern. I feel like if there wasn't a Nyx in this game, he would've gone for, uh... Radiant's top tower is under attack. I, I don't know how much that dissuades you, though. Yeah, how... Like, don't you just still want that kind of... Not even, like... The AoE damage is good, sure, but even just the raw damage, the carry potential of your DK. Yeah. I guess he's just worried about the, uh, the Carapace initiation. And like I said, when you play DK versus PL, you need to get a BKB so early. And then your BKB timing is going to determine it. And because they've taken the tier 2 top and they have wards up, which I haven't really seen them use too many times this game, they can just go into Roshan, grab that. Set up for the dragon form after that to try to push down the tier two towers. I mean, this is definitely telegraphing that forward want to play a pretty active style right now, right? This early BKB pickup. I'm not sure how OG possibly fight. Oh, he did one. He did go back to... for blink dagger, by the way, on the CK. Oh, okay. So let's see uh, how good reaction times are. Topson won a TI with this yeah. hero, so. I'd really prefer them to just walk in a Roche pit. Take a fight, walk in the road. Save the siege wagon. Bail it out. CG just cast the blinding line and gets out. They're all swarming in here. Thompson. Okay. So he's faster. But he was trying to blink uphill, so I can't blame him for that. Yeah. This is just going to uh, buy more time for the PL. Is he's going to notice that everyone has been smoked up. They've also had great vision on this side of the map. I yeah. OG. It was very well done by Jerex when he got that ward out there in the first place. 3k <laughs> lead. I'd imagine the main reason they're not willing to just walk into Roche is probably because of the Batrider and the Monkey. If there are two heroes that are good at fighting around Roche Pit, it's their bread and butter. But you'd like to see them, I think, get a little bit more active with their, their lineup. I don't think you want to turn this into a passive game where this PL just gets three slotted and Monkey finishes Radiance plus one. Like, I think once he has Radiance and KB, it's going to be actually pretty hard for them to kill Thompson. And this is why it's so important that we keep bringing up Thompson, is he's doing the best at being able to cut these creeps, which is stalling out forward, being able to use these dragon forms to, to finish off the, the rest of these tier twos, get Roshan and such. They're spending so much Radiance time trying to hunt him, and attack. they haven't been successful My yet, right? OG is actually going to come up here. Join uh, Thompson as he makes the initiation onto the DK. They're going to be able to pull him back in. So that BKB, that 10 second BKB, may all be for not here. It's going to try and go for the TP. Up to the Amity, follow the stunts as the BKB fades away. They do not. The will was, was used by SVG there as well. So at least there's some cooldowns being blown, even if OG don't claim a kill. They spot Nick's Assassin. Good read. They had that sentry down river, so they knew Jarek's made his way through the river. Universe always Rush. prepared. He's a boy scout. Or you Keeps just the go dust up. of his spirit. Looks like uh, straight to Roshan. The double damage is still there for the Weaver for a short amount of time. So is, is it already. is it like playing against a Tinker or something? Like, can you not go for these pushes until you actually catch the Monkey King? Because at least that's what it seems like forward are playing. They are not trying to like go and just push down mid, which I felt like they could have done with the BKB timing. Instead, they're just spending all their time chasing Thompson around the map. Do you think that's the right idea? 
Uh, no, I, I really want them to... Pref I'd prefer them to try to set something up, but it's awkward because I think they feel a little bit reluctant to go for this Roshan, even though they have many ways to deal with it because of the Monkey King and the Fire Rider threat. But at the same time, like again, you don't want to go into a late game situation with the cores that you do have against PL. Like, okay, forget about Roshan then. What about just taking a tier? Uh, I think taking the mid tier two might be an all right idea and then getting really deep wards and just going for the Roshan anyways. Yeah. Things right now by Seb. Saw Yawar kind of walk away as Yawar is going to pick up his blink. Like they're getting all of these mid game uh, tiered items on the side of forward. They've got blink BKB on their DK. They've got Maelstrom BKB on their Weaver. Like they're gearing up for the big one. It's just they're not really being afforded any fight opportunities. It's similar to the game we saw yesterday, the NIP versus Alliance one, where one team has one very clear goal, the other team has another clear goal. For forward, they desperately want to take any sort of fight that they can. Whereas OG, you know, they're just avoiding them all. I, I feel like forward's just getting frustrated, right? So they're, Thompson, you know, they're getting TPs. split up on both sides. They go for the smoke deep into the jungle, but no one's in the jungle. Everyone's just pushing out the lanes. And so as a result, yeah, they go for this mid tower. Tower Don't even need a dragon form, just the Phantasm Lion and the wards is going to be enough to take this tier 2. Oh gee, they were trying to set up a, a gank at bottom lane, they had the Chen smoked in, he pulled Thompson uh, down to this bottom lane, they were hoping that someone was going to farm it out. Unfortunately for them, this is just the wrong time to do it, because forward finally said enough is enough, we're going to do a little bit of 5 betting here, the lanes are okay for themselves, maybe we can even go high ground with... Dragon form still up for you are. Oh, this is one way to bring people back. But they're going to see the Weaver at top and know this is a feint. Traded tier two for tier two. They have to be careful though. OG, they're chasing. This is the high ground defense. You are is going to be able to come in with a will was as well. They've got great control on two different heroes. Thanks to this will of wisp. And still, MSS is managing to get away. They're getting a lot of damage on two ILTW. Going to pale out from Jair. going to be able to slow down that damage from you are. Seb inside the Monkey King ultimate may be protected. Beautiful sure enough, by forward are going to have to back themselves up out of that Monkey King ultimate and chase down these supports now. It's going to be MSS who's gone. The Weaver gets away from the Monkey King looks like they caught uh, SVG's Keeper of the Light as well. Oh, he's going for the Courier. He got it. Great plays from Thompson there. Rough start to this game, but boy, he has done such a great job evading forwards' attempts at ganks and played that team fight perfectly. Yeah, he, he really did. The way that he set up his ulti. KB timer was done. I thought the fight was actually going to be all right because they went for the Batrider ult onto Hoddle, who was able to get his Willow Wisp off anyway. Yeah. But the BKB timer is running out. Thompson came in real late, but it was actually the perfect time. This entire time we've been talking about forward control in the game. Maybe they're going to be able to take Roshan soon, but one bad fight is all it takes. Now OG have an Aegis on ILTW, who is very rapidly becoming an online threat. They are going to be able to jump here onto Yuar, who still does have his BKB. That's good to hang on to Thompson. Maybe he's in trouble. The Chaos Knight jumping in from Universe Thompson. He is definitely dead, surrounded by just too many of those wards and too many I forward mid. members. I would just try to go high ground here. Maybe. Just run for it. They got Dragon Form in two seconds. Phantasm's up as oh. well and almost got Jerix. You don't have the, uh, the Shaman wards, but at least trying to force out something is your best option. I don't think you can afford to play this passive style. You saw how hard it is for the DK to fight. Yeah. They're going to see this. This would be a really good pick. You are not going to be able to get the stun. SVG going to get burnt out so quickly, but ILTW is going to be stunned up. Bam, bam. Look at that. He managed to get the four second stun. I think that is only going to be the first life, though. He's going to come back to a very dead universe. You are has to give up any hope to bail out his offlaner. That is such And you see. Rezo's on the other side of the map. Yeah, this what been was a four that? Five. You were saying, hey, let's go go mid. Resolution immediately went down to the bottom lane. They get into a fight, and Rezo's still not even there. And I don't really know. It's hard for me to tell you like whose fault that is, because we're not listening to the team comp. So yeah. it's not easy to blind blame. Maybe Rezo had told his team, like, I'm going to go TP out top, and yeah. his team decided the opportunity was too good to take the fight anyways. Whatever it was, it was some yeah. sort of disconnect. Radiance and that's, tower, for me, that's just a team error, right? Like, you yeah. can blame that somebody messed up in the communication, and as a result, we can just call it unlucky as Jarek's going to run into uh, MSS here and 
Radiance Middle Tower. Running around the tree line. That's where Topson is strongest. He's on the hunt. There are so many trees, you can't get away from him. Boom. Yeah. 13 to 11, a lead. I mean, even that though they've Ford had once had is completely evaporated. Even though Ford have had the gold lead, this is how I know like when a team feels out of sorts, is they've had the gold lead for the majority of the game and it doesn't feel like they're really winning. Yeah, this is just a little bit awkward for them. They still have maybe like one or two timings because they still have a fresh enough DKB on their DK. I think it second charge. Uh, Rezo's got a 10 second one. But there are still maybe like two or three good fight opportunities that you can get, but this PL is approaching critical mass. Yeah, he's almost level 20. He's closing in on that heart. Yeah. Once he gets the heart. When oh. you don't have a natural hero to deal with Phantom Hunter, it feels like the, the heart timing. It's so hard to get over that. It's so hard to end the game. I mean, they're trying to work ways around it by all going Maelstroms. And, and that's cool, but... Eventually, you still need to get into straight 5 on 5 fighting. He's got ways to protect. They've got the channel on, on top of that. They don't have the best AoE disable aside from the Willow Wisp, but you saw how hard SVG's game. I don't even think he's got any items. Yeah, he's got a Wind Lease and a Cloak. Those don't turn into anything. Got a dream. Open a prayer of a glimmer. Like that's. I love when the supports are poor and they just get the... Oh, he's oh. gonna jump in! He's oh, gonna get out! They get the Hex instantly. Thompson's not gonna make run it away. Alright, just Great. do it. Pick off. Just, just run go down mid. mid. We got Phantasm. We got Dragon Form. Will-O-Wisp is still up. This is a good opportunity. Serpent Wards. Yeah, they... Okay, see, like, they dropped double sentry. It's a communication, <laughs> man. They not are not on the same page. Here we go, though. You can force a buyback here at the very minimum. Yeah. But I don't even think this is that bad of a fight for Fuji to take. No. You force a buyback, and if you can wipe like three heroes. If Seb can get the initiation, start pulling someone back into the tier four, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. Immediately the Willow Wisp comes out, and that holds his progress. Seb, not gonna make it out of here. Oh, this is Thompson such a good Willow Wisp. Well. Yawarska with the BKB. Thompson just die back. They immediately buy back on Seb as well. ILTW, he's gonna have to do so much work here, but he's already been stunned up. You are gonna be burned out of his mana. But oh, what a great shackles from MSS, protected by the Sherpa Wards as well, a force staff in some way trying to protect ILTW, but only sends him deeper into his death. Zep going to be pulled back as well now by the Blink Dagger initiation from Universe follow-up from Resolution with a big time blast out from SVG. Finally gets his revenge for so many times he's been picked off and OG, oh, it's just over. I think they're right, just getting the picked off done. too many times and they don't have any buybacks forward. What they are going to have to go straight for Throne, but I'm pretty sure they can. Yeah, I, think, I think the game might just be done. What a weird way for it to end is they all clump up for the five-man Will-O-Wisp that went on for full duration. But you is saw, it? I They don't have any more... No Dragon Form, no Phantasm. They're all pretty low. I guess There's no door. Creep Wave. Jarex has pulled the Creep Wave away. What a game saver. Wow. He's actually going to extend it. Well done from Jarex. Still, that, that was a colossal mistake by uh, OG. Like, Topson had the buyback, and so they were trying to set up, you know, team fight after team fight. But it was, I mean, the Will-O-Wisp was, the positioning of it was way too yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, I would say, like, more of that was just forward and SVG specifically making a really good read, that great reaction. Yeah. He knew, he's like, guys, what they're going to do, they're going to lasso and buy back, right? They're going to try and make the initiation buy back at the same time. I'm ready to go, baby. I'm glad, though, that forward decided to finally march down there. Like, oh, the one time they yeah, did it they and Rezo TP top, I was like, what's going on right now? But at, this, at least this time, they're like, guys, at least let's oh. commit to something. Jerex? That's an alien Indeed he does. Really? He will just kind of push My out of there. Reward. And he wants to protect his gem. The pattern reward Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, this game did look very good for OG two seconds ago. And now I click this Chen's items and he's got... Found the Weaver. Jerks, no! Could have impaled at any time! Oh, he's Why gonna lose the gem! The, the gem! <laughs> Oh no! Jerry, <laughs> you saved the game, but then. Did that happen? Well, that's gonna be a completed meal in there for This is what Rezo. makes entertaining games, though. Like, Dota's never perfect. No. Thanks for sure. Razzo! Like this! Okay, can stay oh, no, this is a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's got a PKB time lapse! He's gonna be okay! Woo. 
Now Will of Wisps is going to be able to catch ILTW. Doesn't have another doppelganger for five seconds. Did they find the real one? Universe doesn't care about that. He's going to go for the back line. No, the rest of the team focus on ILTLW. And it just keeps on pulling him in over and over no time. again. He managed to get a doppelganger out. Another five seconds for the next one. They pull him onto the cliff. He can't get out. One more second. The he ring. Doppelganger now. Where's he going? He's getting away. No, he slowed down immediately by resolution. Found the real one. He's dead for 70 seconds. No tail's <laughs> gonna be caught as well. Oh man, can you imagine if they killed Rezo there? It was like half a hit away. Yes. You beat away the gem. That would have been the counter turnaround. No Jerax pulling the creep wave this time around. And he can't stop this. Right. How do you delay the game now? PL has no buyback, dead for 45 seconds. They have no Monkey King ult, so they don't even no have the Wukong's command to be able to defend. Man, Thompson is poor now. He has picked up the Yasha since all of this. He's going Manta Radius. This uh, Naga Siren. The Willow Wisp, by the way, is so. This spell is so crazy. It's so, yeah, it's broke. It is broke. You're just straight up gonna call broken i mean the fact that they like they nerf him and this hero can be run as a four position yeah. or a five He's per it's pretty so much a better version of the phoenix egg yes <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, like oh i don't have to put my life on the line yeah, for it's this a sure. pulsing phoenix egg <laughs> oh that's incredible i mean, kudos to them forward you know they're finally starting to do stuff we didn't really get Dyer's to see it last game and, or under. a large part of this game but Finally, kind of putting it together as Rezo still has the gem. He has to be careful about this. Is taking out a lot of sentries, and he does have a TP available. He's going to go for it. Any follow up? Nope. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Ah, uh, this game's great. Um, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed this one. Two lanes of Rags down. All the shrines gone. Dyer's top shrine ILTW, has fallen. Who? We once said, oh, he's closing in on level 20 and heart. That was like five minutes ago or something. And he has zero progression items it was ever that, since. Who's that mid fight and then the bottom one? All right, we're okay. Things are starting to look up. I thought for a second that I mean, it looked like this game oh, They're going to straight smoke up, but immediately it's going to be popped in. There you are, Mickey is an issue. They're going to be able to catch up. He's already dead as well. Will O' Wisp doesn't really catch anybody past that, but two pickoffs like that, no buybacks on the side of OG. I don't think this three-man defense is going to be enough to stop forward from claiming Megas. They're going to be able to get Jerex as well, the Aeon Disc. Just buying him a little bit of time, but he is still there. I think the Aeon Disc pickup is nice, but without a blink, it's just a temporary solution. They'll chase you down every time. Phantasm, Dragon Form. No Serpent Wards here, but... Let's do it! What's the comeback mechanic? LTW immediately gonna be hexed. He completes his TP here. Long range shackles out from MSS and Jerks already blown his impale, so they don't have a way to stop this disable. Fortunately, ILTW is super tank and he will be able to get away for a little while. Maybe back to the fountain he goes, but it costs Jerks his life and Tops has already used the Wukong's command and he's gonna die inside of that too. The armor is now gone and he's ripped apart by Yawar. The carry Dragonite with the help of MSS. MSS! Oh, Zap comes in, managed a full resolution back immediately. The buyback time lapse. He can come back in, but you are. He's dead now, and maybe you can't actually bail this out. If oh, we're just gonna have to retreat, and this is fight amazing. Another day? No, no, no. They, they bought back on two. I think they're really looking for it. They gotta end the game they right now, to, right? I think they they're saying, guys, like this is getting this is enough. But, okay, but MSS is gonna go shrine real fast, and he'll he'll walk back. Don't worry. All right, all right. <laughs> My Roshan's up. Yeah, genuinely, this is, gonna do <laughs> this is so cloudy. Everyone's, oh, just, no. everyone's just running at each other. It's okay, I'm okay with Roche, but what it does is it gives OG a, like a 14th opportunity <laughs> yeah, to recover the game. They will not have to defend their third Rax with only three heroes. They will be able to form a, a five-man defense. It's gonna be against Aegis and Cheese. Okay, here we go. So they well, used use the five X. So uh -huh. they're... I, I thought this game has been over like nine times. It's not been the cleanest. No, but that's what makes entertaining Dota. And I mean, that's what Dota is, you know? I've, I've never played a game where things just go smoothly. Like, even in Korea, when we're playing against like three, I die somehow. 
play against players who are literally new to Dota as a whole. I mean, my guys were like, what does Lina do? I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. <laughs> You have one good opportunity to defend here is uh, forward. The crazy part is if forward somehow <laughs> loses the two heroes that bought back, maybe they, maybe suddenly there's like some weird way that OG can win again. It's only a 9,000 gold difference is the crazy part. Yeah. After, once you're down like 2k or two sets of racks and they've lost like three fights in a row and everybody from OG's bought back, you'd consider it being like a 20k lead minimum. But it has not been that way, Austin. <laughs> no, it hasn't. And forward, do not feel comfortable enough to just march into the base immediately. They're going to try and play it to the best they can, make sure that all the lanes are pushed in before they go for that high ground hit. But that may be able to buy a, a bit of time here. Almost got the pickoff here on ILTW. I was just looking at it. Seth can actually get the BKB, so he no longer has to worry about the Will of Wisp countering his initiation. That high ground defense becomes significantly better. And he still needs another like thousand gold for this. Nice. Nice. Meanwhile, Topson with his Manta Radiance build continues to push out the bottom lane nonstop. He can cut the mid lane next if he wants to. He just needs to cut lanes and delay. Yeah. Like this game is all about delay, delay, delay. And if he can actually get the BKB as well with a combination of the Wukong's command, He's going to cut this mid lane. Awesome. Very well done. Continue to uh, create some space and some time. Is and... that they actually TP? You are came back. They. This More bottom time. lane's been completely cleared out too. So now they just have to deal with the top lane. And they're going to be able to do that, and the game resets a little bit. And credit to OG, even though uh, they might have thrown a little bit. Uh huh. They uh, they're doing the correct things Radiant's to get themselves back into the game. Under attack. They're using the fact that. Uh, Ford, correctly so, I think, is a little bit timid because I think oh. they really don't want to throw this game back. <laughs> like, of all the games you could potentially lose, yeah, this they one lose would this hurt. one. They, they, they may not survive the rest of the tournament as a team. Morale has it dropped may significantly. A, maybe a disband sort of game, you know? They're troopers. Butterfly soon for resolution, but a butterfly on the way or ILPW. So now they're forming up. You see MSS. He's got the wards. Balances he picked up. He's Time got the cast to go. range. How can they stop key. us? We've got Phantasm, Dragon Form, Serpent Aegis Wards. Cheese. It's only one lane of Rax. Surely. So this should be easy. ILTW does have a buyback. As okay. does Topson. Oh, no, he doesn't. Topson actually bought out for his BKB. We'll see how that decision ends up playing out. I mean, I think the BKB is better than the buyout, personally. They're all gathered up as you are. They get the right kind of lasso here. Into the Wukong's command with both their BKBs. The they gotta focus though. somebody They gotta down, figure out a way to get to SVG. It's true. Jarex is now trying to wrap around there. Actually gonna throw it on the Serpent Wards here. ILTW will be quick to dispatch though, but that's the same time they make the initiation. Try and get up Jarex. Aeon Dis is gonna pop, so that initiates is gonna fail. Topta goes for the back line. The Wukong Smith on top of the supports. That's great. That's exactly what they wanted, especially with the pull That's a resolution. That's gonna be the Aegis down. A great setup, a great hold from OG, but can they keep it going? ILTW has already finished off the Shadow Shaman immediately buying back. They're still gonna try and take this five on five. Forward is saying, all right, they're out of some spells now. They've got some cooldowns. All we have to do is make sure no one else gets picked off here. And sure enough, Universe is going to be able to blink away from ILTW, so he will be fine. Forward. That was the reactive buyback, though, from MSS. And he had to have known. It was, at best, a four on five for their side. And there's no way they're going to push the issue four without on five the without the light. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's true. That is that is weird. So, I mean, that is definitely an overall win for OG as they managed to grab the Aegis. This time around, they fought around the Willow is perfectly. If you notice, the Phantom Rush carried him all the way past it. Yes. He just 40 yard dashed right through it, no problem. This time around, it was not effective. They caught the back line. That's what they needed to do in these fights. You just have to ignore these tanky cores. It's not easy to take out. Like this DK and this CK. Okay, so OG have now created the formula for success in a team fight. We've seen yes, how sir. they can win this, how they can hold. What are the changes that forward needs to make? Uh, or just, I'm, 
that fight's just a little bit awkward. I felt like they rushed it. They dropped the wards and they all committed to going for the high ground. Yeah, that was but really But the problem weird. is the, the Keeper of the Light and the Shaman, they can't really follow up on that with the rest of the heroes. Mm. So I think they have to be more patient there. And Rezo, you can't get caught out here. You absolutely cannot die. And he's completely alone. He's going to Shikuchi out. Oh, the he hit him! Let's go blind! Oh my from god! Jerex. Unbelievable! <laughs> oh god. He's dead for two minutes. Je did oh, he even have vision? G? Did he even? I don't see a sentry. He century. did not have vision. He, he didn't have a blind gem. swing. Home run. All they had was Thompson's gem, and I'm pretty sure that he was nowhere in range. <laughs> 100 seconds. I'm, I'm feeling it, Austin. <laughs> you think they got uh, this? You oh think OG my. are going to make the comeback? Round and round it goes. Where Ladies, it ends, nobody top. knows, Austin. <laughs> See that again? What a beautiful read from Jerex. Yeah, that gem was so far away. There's no way that was completely blind. Oh what and now all the buybacks that they use to try to end the game, that kind of just bites them in the ass now. They can't yeah. play as aggressively I mean, as they They're going to be losing Raxes, and if you're OG, you just got to go balls to the wall here, right? Yeah. There's no like buyback on DK seconds. for 30 seconds. You just keep going. Where's Jerex going? Yeah. There's no buyback for 30 seconds on uh -huh. the DK, so he's not willing to commit for the fight. And Weaver just... Weaver doesn't have one for eight short seconds. I, there's no tier twos to protect any of these. They can go for full on Megas. Okay, that's a 1k. And oh, Jesus. That's SVG gone. He does have a buyback. He does have buyback. Willow -Wisp. He's got buyback in Willow Wisp. They're going to lose one. All right, there's a buyback now. There's a buyback now for the Weaver. So if OG get overconfident, thinking, oh, there's no buyback from this Weaver, we still have 30 seconds. Yeah, but OG do have buybacks. Oh, this is... oh, you are going to make his initiation. Goes for Seth. There's going to go the buyback from Resolution. On the front line, though, is Popsy. He's going to get out the Wukong man. Universe trying to go for ILTW. There's so many illusions. He's There's already no running so on the DK. Mana. You are. He does not have He's got cheese. He's got Joel's up. He's got cheese. It's going to be okay. And the Will of List is there as well. They're going to try and get out with the Phantom Rush. The ILTW will get out of that hold. Now he gets pushed back in into the stun of You are. They've got LTW. It's going to be shackled up. He's dead. He does have a buyback, though. Universe on the hunt for more. Same goes with the Resolution, but it looks like everyone else from OG has been managed to get out. Jerex pulled away by the Chen. Thompson's away. OG do have a buyback to hold once again in a 5v5. But it's still, in my opinion, OG advantage because they've got the buyback to work with. There's no buyback on Rezo, which is huge, but there is a buyback available on all of OG. And so the scary part now is oh, Thompson, no, he's gonna, gonna get caught out! Thompson! He no. did so well! This is the gem too! What? <laughs> What's going on? He got a little desperate. He really, I think he really wanted to protect the Phantom Lancer buyback, you know? And he's like, I'm, I'm gonna keep split pushing the same way I've always done. Oh, this is glorious. This is truly. All right, but, but if you're a forward, especially I think you have to try to force the buyback. No, what you do is you gotta be real careful. You send in your heroes that do have buyback. Like you let Universe and MSS just kind of walk in. So you have Universe just like go and, and yeah, hit the you racks let universe, or something. You let Universe and your DK go in, sorry. Not okay. MSS. And if they force the buybacks, then you immediately just try to disengage with whoever you can. Yeah. Someone's yeah. definitely going to die, though. It's yes. a lasso. There's no. no you question really want to force the Monkey King buyback here to put yourself in even straights. But because Roshan's up, I think. Forward, this is their <laughs> that breeze Roshan. deep. Okay. Look at the. Dude, look, just look at the gold graph in this game. This is the cloudiest thing I've ever seen. Up and down and up and down and up and down. It's just Magic Mountain is now. They're gonna oh, fight they're gonna without Thompson. In. They're gonna fight without Thompson. He has buyback, but there's no shrine for him to TP into. They can bring him in with a Chen though, and that's exactly what they're gonna try and do here with the initiation. He, he, he doesn't find anybody. Jumbled in with the Agate Scepter, the universe being pulled away with the BKB though. He's not taking a whole lot of damage, but now the Wukong's man maybe will be enough. They all gotten out of that big circle with the Will O Wisp as well, helping them out. Thompson is gonna lead that Wukong's man stadium, and he's gonna chase down SVG. Impossible doesn't get him, so instead he's gonna turn for UR, where his team is actually disabling up UR so UR's well. He just gets ripped apart by the Phantom Lancer. He does have a buyback, but he's used his dragon form. And this will be a four on five at best for them. OG, they're going to see that Roche yeah, that quite is low. super low. This is the refresher too. This would be huge for them. They're going to commit for this all in. The Everyone's the filtering. It's giving them the vision here. They oh, can't no, actually they get through go this now. area. They got to go now. They're going to try and get in, but it's too late. Age has already picked up by ILTW. And what does forward do now? They can't fight. They can't go for that last laner, Brax. Okay, so OG, 
OG was down 7k, and now they're about to be up again in gold. Now it swings the other way. Forward with the almost 100% win probability. <laughs> for like, and then they bring it back to a 75% win probability. Yeah, cool. Are you sure this is a this bad game? Oh, this would be like it. They've had like both teams. The crazy part is that both teams have had like yeah. 40 opportunities to win this game. It was Rezo getting caught out by that beautiful stun by JRX at top. Then Thompson throws it back by getting caught trying to push the wave, and MSS catches him. ILTW, he's been level 25 for a little while now, but now he's got a, a, another splank. He's got Scotty. I mean, it takes... He's got 4,000 health. You see when forward try and focus him down, it takes a long time, even when they chain disable him, to be able to kill this Phantom Lancer. Now that he's got Scotty, it just gets even worse. It's Scotty Aegis. So. My heart. Be uh, still. What do you do as forward? Like, you can't take the shrink. I don't know, five Austin. Five, right? I know for, I, now it's their turn to win the fight. Like, 100%. <laughs> so, somehow. Just judging by gonna, past history. They're going to lure OG into the fountain. The win probability is like, come on, Danny needs a new pair of dice. <laughs> it's time to swing. I, I thought I thought this game was ending like nine times in a row. Somehow forward's going to make the miracle hold, I'm sure. It's five on five here. They don't have the best buyback situation ever. Derek's burrows in. Behind ILTW. Go nest. Bottom tower has fallen. Forward. Oh, the initiation from Thompson tries to catch resolution. Rezo skittering around though, and it looks like they're comfortable giving up this racks. They're gonna try to play for the megas. This would put them even. Two War. sets of racks spawn to two sets of racks. But your ward pops the DK form, and this is a bit of a commitment. ILTW. Fine Grace is gonna help him out a little bit. He just keeps on swinging for those racks. Radiant's bottom barracks are He's under got him. Radiant's bottom barracks. Now they, <laughs> they have no DK you form. You use the dragon for it. Yeah, don't you, you just like commit. OG? Don't you just kind of like back up, yeah. wait for like five seconds? And That's then... why forward smoking right now. They yeah, realize like we use DK form. This is our only opportunity to fight. We gotta go. Yeah. And they're gonna go for the back line immediately. Chaos Knight jumps in, managed to get the BKB, dodging the impale. The Will West oh, is gonna be able to no get some supports as well. Tops of his heads up. They just focus on everybody but ILTW, and they should be able to kill him. Tops is down there, Rizzo by ILTW, but Jerry's is gonna be caught. Resolution trying to go for him. Oh, Resolution barely gets off that time last before he's burned out of mana. ILTW stuck back inside the wards, gets away with another doppelganger. Seb managed to grab Resolution, and Resolution doesn't have the time lapse to be able to survive. No buyback for him either. It is just ILTW. He is pretty much 1v5ing forward right now. He's got so much HP and he still has that Aegis too. You are no longer has the oh, dragon for him. Up. Oh, family. They take away that Aegis, yes, but now a second line. Surround him. Surround him. He's going to get the immediate stun. They will be able to get that. Universe is going to chain it with the chaos. Bulk in the Give me a fort. Let's go. Oh, no. They actually take away the cooldown for reward, so he's got another dragon stun and LTW will die. I told you, Austin. I did it. It's got to go back the other way. Forward and hold. Unbelievable! And now it's time for OG to ante up. <laughs> it's only Nyx Assassin. How could Jerex possibly There's hold no this for OG? For I, we said that like 19 <laughs> times this game, but maybe forward have done it. There, uh, there's no buybacks coming in, right? It's not gonna happen like last second. There's no. No. They're there's no. There's for no a while. dream. I. I just knew that somehow go. forward was gonna do this. Look at him pulling the waves. The game couldn't end it any other way. Dyer's yeah, they just Dyer. had to come back. They're you, marching down. Omar's going. He's picking up the death. So he's like, "We're gonna end this as fast as possible. I cannot risk us throwing again." Dyer's All right, now they call GG. <laughs> okay, a valiant defense attempted by Jerex, but GG forward will be able to go one-one with OG in this series. What a wild! cluster of a game <laughs> the win probability in this <laughs> they don't even 